The first image is a tweet from Andy No, where it's a Palestinian uh, Palestine celebration rally in Dearborn, Michigan, where the speaker says, when you go to a Black Lives Matter rally, you see Palestinian flags. When you go to a white supremacy rally, you see Israeli flags. And then a tweet from the ADL. <laughs> white supremacist leaders are openly celebrating Hamas's attack on Israel, cheering. OK, you get the point. This is the, the, like so much is being exposed here. Yeah. The lies of the machine are falling apart. The, 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 the culture war is just imploding right now. And we are being proven right. This right here is one of the best. Pro-Palestine groups claim white supremacists love Israel. And the ADL claims white supremacists are mocking Israel for being attacked. Yeah, yeah are both true? I mean, this is nuts. Yeah, according to uh, the videos I saw, according to the ADL, white supremacy has a perfect ESG score. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just covering so, all their bases. Yeah, exactly. And now there are a lot of people who are outraged that the ADL and the SPLC have not condemned Black Lives Matter as hate groups for supporting terrorism in Israel. And, and Jonathan Greenblatt, who is uh, the head of the ADL, went on MSNBC criticizing them of their coverage of this saying because they were calling it like you know militants and he's like these are terrorists who's writing these scripts it's like bro you defended these people relentlessly over the past several years Three and years. we kept begging you stop man they're lying and now you get an overt act of terror undeniable and like look i'm seeing libertarians who are like no war no intervention being like yo that was messed up what they did like wow like this is brutal and now the adl nowhere to be found when blm it, i'm sorry dude the ADL is being insulted and attacked by Black Lives Matter who are supporting Palestine Hamas terrorists, and they can't even come out and call them a hate group or, or condemn it. I think it just shows exactly what what these groups represent. Yeah, yeah. the ADL spent the last year telling, well, last many years, saying the worst example of anti-Semitism is anytime you bring up George Soros. There you have it. <laughs> and then now look at this. We have all of it on video and just totally silent. Well, uh, I, I would like to see the ADL and the SPLC Published their article saying Black Lives Matter is a hate, an anti-Semitic hate yeah. group. Yeah. You know what's funny is we've known this yeah. since the Women's March. Yeah. When, when Tablet Magazine published, like, they are pushing insane anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. And there it is. There it is, everybody. Uh, you, know, you know, here's the problem. This was, uh, man, when was this? This was like six years ago. The ACLU defended Unite, Unite the Right in Charlottesville, saying, you have a right to free speech. Mm -hmm. And then they started losing a bunch of donors. And then all of a sudden, their message changed. Yeah, money talks. Yeah, it's like sure. they, like I mentioned these Harvard, Harvard kids who are like, "No, we didn't mean to sign that letter in support of Hamas." Right. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I mean, the SPLC in particular peddles in fear. Right, they're able to say, "You know, you be nice to us or follow our talking points, or we will put you on one of our lists, and no one will want to hire you because we'll try to make it so whenever you show up, you're basically a Google felon." I mean, mm -hmm. this is a how Google the SPLC felon. keeps its its donors in check and it keeps its enemies at, at bay because it says we are the authority on the mor on morality, and if we decide that we don't like you, it's all over. And the thing is, they are corrupt. They don't have any sort of moral standing to make that judgment. They're just the institutional power that's there. And when they are needed most, where are they? Nowhere, right? Theoretically, this is the time that they should be the most outspoken. And instead, they're going to wait until yep. one of their biggest donors says what they what they want them to say, and then they're going to follow suit. Well, we need to lobby uh, the ADL and the SPLC to to put Black Lives Matter as a anti-Semitic hate group on all of their pages. Yep. If yep. they were really serious about anti-Semitism, yeah. you think they'd do it right away? Yeah. But. They would. I don't. I th I'm questioning their. Imagine they, they do. I, I mean, they kind of would have to, right? It'd be pretty. I, so? I didn't even take the after, check. After, after they, today. After well, we before today, I would. No, no, they're they not do. working right now. They're not updating anything. Right. That's, yeah. why there's no, there's, that's why there's. That's why there's. They're looking for what Nick Fuentes is saying right now. Yeah, they're trying to change the subject so yeah. quickly. Or again, yeah. like I said, they are waiting for their biggest donor to tell them what they're comfortable with, and then they'll abide by that messaging.